Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I am doing my October wrap up. So as you may tell by the thumbnail or not, I don't know how I'm going to play it, but I haven't read any physical books in October which I feel pretty like disappointed in myself but I still read 15 books on my Kindle, so I didn't read nothing, but like, I just didn't read physical books, which I'm kind of ticked off about, but I don't know, I've just been super busy, and yeah, so I kind of want to talk about why I haven't read physical books and all of that stuff. Because honestly, it's just like laziness. I work, I only work two to three days a week. I work all day, mind you, but I get really tired. And then the rest of the week, I either film videos or I'm cleaning my house or I'm watching hockey. And I just feel like I don't make the effort to put in reading physical books. Like I just, I don't make an effort to do that. And I have time, I know I can. When I get home from work at 7 p.m., I have time to read a book or like read half of a book. I don't know why I don't pick anything up. Like I used to be so good at that, like even going to school every day, I would still read when I got home. And like I haven't done that. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm hoping November is more of a reading the physical books month. There, I think there's like three pre-orders that I have coming that are newer releases so hopefully I read those this month and whatnot but yeah I'm hoping November's better I hope I get my shit together and I do this in the meantime let's get on to the 15 books I read in the month of October Breaking Hollywood by Samantha Towell this I gave three out of five stars Summer Camp Captive by Lisa Riley this I gave two out of five stars Daddy's Best Friend by London Hale. This I gave three out of five stars. The Dilf by London Hale. This I gave three out of five stars. Annie with Benefits by London Hale. This I gave two out of five stars. Knocking Her Up by London Hale. This I gave three out of five stars. Sure Thing by Janet Aston. This I also gave three out of five stars. Puck Me Baby by Lily Valentine. Uh, this I gave 2 out of 5 stars. Black Rainbow by J.J. McAvoy. This I gave 3 out of 5 stars. Shattered King by Shirley Gray. This I gave 2 out of 5 stars. Rainbows Ever After by J.J. McAvoy. McAvoy. I feel like I'm saying her name wrong. This is the Rainbows like 1.5 in the series duology. I don't know. It's, it's like a continuation of um black rainbows and this i gave three to five stars unintended by georgia keats this is book five in the sin series this i gave four to five stars i loved it so much it was so good i just i love it i need a physical copy of this book because it was just so great bountiful by serena bowen this is book four in the true north series this i gave four to five stars i really liked it it was super sweet and cute yet like deep and it was just really great. I loved it. Sweet Little Lies by Abby Glines. This is book two in the Sweet trilogy. This I gave two out of five stars. Definitely an improvement from the first book. However, I don't really understand what happened in the plot twist. Um, towards the end, like I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what the plot twist was. I was really confused. I like read the sentence like five times and I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> Someone explain it to me. I don't get it. But um, definitely improvement from the first book. Will I read the third one? Probably. But I doubt it's going to get higher than three stars. Like it's probably going to be two stars. But um, I just kind of want to see how it concludes. But I definitely liked the second book better than book one. So and the last book I read in October was Falling Fast by Aurora Rose Reynolds. Can't say that. I gave this three out of five stars. I know I didn't really talk about each book in detail, but honestly, there was only like one or two books 
that I actually really liked that I read in October and the rest were just like filler reads or reading because I was bored and wanted something fast and quick and romancy and the rest was just kind of like whatever. So it wasn't my best reading month and I hope that November this month is better. Um, I do have kind of some plans to read more stuff but yeah I just need to get my butt into groove and I know I'm kind of hard on myself but it's because I'm like such a big reader and I read so much and I read so fast that when I don't reach a certain goal I do get disappointed in myself like I haven't read a physical book in over a month like even September I only read one physical book so it's been like August since the last time I read like full amount of physical books so I am disappointed in myself I'm allowed to be disappointed in how I'm reading because I do have the time I'm just so freaking lazy that I haven't I haven't sat down to read a physical book even though when I'm reading on my Kindle I should be reading a physical book instead but I'm just I don't do that <laughs> so I don't know but that's just how it is and I hope you guys had a better reading month than I did and hopefully you guys smashed some of the goals that you had for um, your reading month. One of the things I wanted to do the most for October was read Jack Dracula. Didn't even get to it, didn't even touch it. I looked at it, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. <sighs> that's kind of it. And um, let me know how many books you read last month and what your favorite one was. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.